So my new warlord character has a name. I'm calling her the Bunny Lord. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we never allow you to uh, choose your own nickname, so I can't make that official. But uh, when I was coming up with the, uh, the thumbnail for the first video in this series, uh, I realized that uh, there was no better name than the Bunny Lord. So the Bunny Lord here uh, needs to build a latrine in her home because her morale is absolutely abysmal. And she's like, the beatings will continue until morale improves. But, you know, she's a nice warlord. She doesn't actually want to continue the beatings. So she's going to go and get a latrine so that we can make people a little bit happier around base. Uh, Travi, no, I did not end up taking your advice and playing Medieval Dynasty that day. Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm taking a break from Medieval Dynasty because I really was just chopping down a lot of trees. Um, <laughs> and there's so many other games out that I need to play. I was falling way behind on my weird little indie games. So I'm probably going to play one session of State of Decay 2 this morning, and then maybe try to get a little bit further in the fall. Which is an adventure game I've been playing, which is... Uh, it's not always easy to tell what the game expects you to do. Uh, it's kind of got that classic adventure game problem of, like... You know, not quite knowing what you're supposed to interact with, what two things you're supposed to combine to make something happen. But... Uh, and there were actually some points early on where I didn't even understand what my controls were. <laughs> but at the same time, the writing in that game is really impressive. Like, the the weird characters that they've created. Not just weird like, ooh, I'm wacky, I'm a weird character. But like, they came up with bizarre situations to put characters in. And, and you know, really interesting reactions for them to have. And, and the dialogue is written really well. Like, I, I'm, I'm a fan of this game, even though I struggled to uh, to get into it at first. So... So yeah, if you haven't watched any of my videos of the fall and you're into you know well-written adventure games, do check those out. Okay, so I've got some meds. That's nice and all, but I came here for chemicals. I need to make a chemical toilet. That requires chemicals. Nothing in here. Oh, hello. I'm beating these zombies up with my... Uh... Oh, hello? My bilge rat shovel. It's part of the plunder pack that we just released. Oh, it just occurred to me, I'm supposed to be shooting zombies. Uh, I have not done that yet. Mostly because it's just early in the game and I tend not to uh, break the guns out until the zombies are a little bit more plentiful. Or I'm a little bit, you know, tougher and I can handle them uh, converging on me with the sound of gunshots. So I think, did I just get what I wanted? Yeah, nine cases of chemicals. Not bad. I'm carrying a rucksack around without a car. So, you know, I want to get back home pretty quick. I'm also pretty light on food. So let's head over to uh, Brant's Onion Emporium. Is that what that's actually called? I don't think it is. It's a fruit stand. <laughs> At least one of these is called Brant's Onion Emporium. Um, but uh, I, I always forget which one it is. I think it's one in... Uh, uh, Meager Valley. Hello, zombie. Okay, fine. I will shoot you if you insist. Alright, where am I likely to find food? In a tub? Yep. What am I thinking? I'm carrying meds around. I need to go home. Well, let's look in here at least. I need to go home and drop these meds off. Maybe I'll just... Yeah, I'm real close to home. I should just come back for the food. Yep, there's the advantage of blunt weapons. They hit more enemies. Okay, so people are asking me about Becky's name. So the bunny lord here, uh, her name is Becky. It's spell uh, her her like original name or whatever. Her what do you your full name? Full name. That's you know the English word for that concept uh, is Rebecca. Uh, but she goes by Becky B E K I, and that actually does have a story. That's based on um, uh, a girl that I knew in high school who. Um, when I first met, I actually I, I knew her in like originally in like elementary middle school age, 
and uh, her name was was spelled B E C K Y, like you know, like your typical Becky. And uh, then at one point in high school, she decided to, she wanted to spell it B E K I, and um, at the time, I found that preposterous, and uh, I, <laughs> and I was like, if you're gonna spell it like that, you should call yourself Beaky. Um, I don't think I ever said that to her face, <laughs> but I was a, you know, a little bit more of a, uh, of a timid child, but, but, but anyway, that, that, that memory of that spelling has stuck with me. And I'm pretty sure she still uses it as an adult. Um, and so, yeah. So when I was, you know, coming up with nicknames for, for Rebecca, I put in, you know, your classic Becky, but while I was in there, I was like, well, let's, let's put in some variants. And so, yeah, B-E-K-I, uh, after my friend from high school. Hello, zombie. <laughs> Jedi Psych Trick says, I love that the names in this game are based on people you knew in high school and stuff like that. Yeah, only some of them are based on people that I knew. Um, why did I not empty my... Why did I not empty my inventory? I'm too distracted by the whole Becky situation, I guess. Well, going back, I guess. Well, we got the food, at least. <laughs> Cog says, Beaky the Bunny Lord sounds wrong. It has to be Becky the Bunny Lord. I agree. Doop -doo -doop. I think the B E K I actually works better with this spelling of Rebecca anyway, because you know if it's two C's, then you expect that the nickname will have a C in it. But when it's just it, when it's the K spelling, um, I think it feels more appropriate for uh, the nickname not to have a C. All right, let's actually remember to drop off our stuff this time. including our delicious chemicals, which we will now use to build a latrine. Woohoo! Everyone loves latrines. Now, what will it take? Okay, and I've got what it takes to upgrade my infirmary, too, so that's probably worthwhile. I'm still not happy about, with the amount of food that I've got. I also need some more um, fuel. Let's just poke around here, try to remind myself where stuff is. Food and ammo are often available at barns, so that's probably a good place to look. I don't really have great anti-plague heart weapons yet. I well, I've got, you know what, I've got a heavy weapon, which can be pretty good against them. What, what, I think it's in the hands of one of my other characters, though. So. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll spend a little bit longer with Becky before we switch out, just because, you know, we got to get her standing up so she can be the leader. Hmm. Yeah, let's bring the car. We don't have a ton of gas, but uh, if I'm going to bring back a lot of resources, way better to do it in a vehicle. Oh yeah, Cogs is reminding me there's a fuel tanker on this map. So that might be a good place to go to after we go to the barn. Hello? Hey there, guys. Oh. You guys are quick. I wish I... <laughs> woke up that quick in the morning. I'd get more streaming done. I'm so bad at this! <laughs> One hit from the shovel. I wasted so many bullets. Just... Just because we've got this silly bounty. Totally attracting the neighbors here. Ooh. So the motel hoppers are looking for some materials. I can probably do that. 
after I'm done searching through all this stuff. Oh no! There's some food. Okay, let's uh, dump some stuff in our trunk. Encyclopedias. Not going to use those grenades yet. And also, I hate notes. So <laughs> Just because I'm, 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 you know, opposed to reading. Yes. Come get me, zombies. My trigger finger's itchy. <gasps> oh no, where did she go? We can't see her anymore. Crossbow. Fine. Guess I should probably heal up. Gonna have to make some hard choices about what we keep. So I can put that rucksack away. Just drop some more stuff I'm never gonna use. Um, hmm, I can get rid of my healing. I mean, you can recover crossbow bolts. bolts. How, how many do you really need? Okay. I think that's my second uh, 50 cal find, which is pretty cool. All right, I'm just going to leave that last one there. I don't know what's in it, but uh, it'll attract me back to this place later to pick up all the stuff I dropped off. And we're going to head home. This is a bounteous trip. <gasps> hey, mon Clope is here. Bonjour, mon ami. Ah! No! No! Why? Why? No! Oh my gosh. What is up? That's not how you drive a car, Bunny Lord. If that is your real name. Alright. We're home. Drop everything off. Uh oh, out of search for ammo. That's gonna be a problem. Actually, I should go grab that crossbow. If I wanna go and get a whole bunch of headshots, probably a smart move. In the meantime, let's just get a bunch of random ammo. I didn't mean for you to put it all in your pockets, Becky. Well, she's got a bunch of 22 now, I guess, for that Uzi. But let's, uh, let's go with the classic crossbow this time. Okay, so we do need some more fuel. I think that's where we're going to head next. All right, trying to remember where exactly. It was on the railroad tracks, right? That fuel tanker. Let's just go out to the railroad tracks and follow them. There it is. Thanks for the reminder, Cogs. I think it was cogs that reminded me of this, right? Nope. There you go. Been a while since I fired a crossbow. Gotta get those ballistic trajectories right. There, now... Not only am I being more efficient with my ammo, but I can complete this, uh, I can complete this bounty 
without attracting all the zombies in the world. Of course, I still fast search, so I don't know why I'm bothering trying to be quiet. Fine. What the? Where'd you go? You jerk zombie. Did I give you permission to teleport? I did not. You're a bad zombie. this in here, and this, and this. Yeah, this has been a good trip so far. What else do we want to get? Oh yeah, these guys, they want materials. Is there a good spot where I can get the materials? Mm. Shipping way station sometimes. Mm -hmm. Aren't a lot of perfect spots, but you know what? Let's go over here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, there's some kind of craney looking thing right next to me. Or is there? Wait, maybe not. Oh, right there. Oh, right next to them. Let's go to this loading dock and see what's there. I mean, it's it doesn't have any guaranteed resources, but it might have the kind of container that could give me um, materials regardless. Uh-oh, the bunny lord's getting tired. She's all tuckered out. Well, this might be the last trip of the Bunny Lord. All right, no materials. More fuel, though. We're doing okay on gas now. It's not too bad. But... We want to make some allies. That's one of our goals here. It's one of our uh, one of our bounties that we've got. So, God, I am so sick of plague zombies. Again, I'm do I don't really think there's going to be materials out here, but I feel like I don't know. It's a decent die to roll anyway. He's got these big old containers and things. I think these, with these big old boxes in them. Those boxes often contain materials, and I think at the Dread Zone, there's still a chance of getting random resources. A low chance, apparently, but... Now get off me! Triumph of the Bunny Lord. <laughs> Warbucks is reminding me my character's tired. That is true. My character is very tired. This is her last trip. Okay, yeah, so we did get a resource. It just wasn't the one I hoped for. So let's still head out here, look around, see if anything looks like it might have materials. Again, these maps are so kind of big and complex, I can never remember where things are. <laughs> Even though I've been, you know, working on and playing this game for years. I'm always like, wait a minute, wait a minute, where? Where are the materials? Where should I look?
So let's see what we can see from up here. Some bullets. Oh! Cogs just pointed out there's a shed. Where's there? Oh, this guy! That, yeah, totally. All right, we're still going to survey, but you're right. That is probably a good place to go. Thank you. Cogs, I'm trying. I'm trying to get better at paying attention to the chat. Oh, by the way, you can you can cash in your channel points if you want to grab uh, to grab some emojis. If you use the uh, the blindfold emoji, that's a reminder to me to re to catch up with the chat that I've missed. Holy shit! You think that baby's still around? What is this one? Maragra, huh? Another fuel depot. Dingy greenhouse. Windmill house. Spacious warehouse. Oh, yeah, the warehouse. That's another great place to get materials. Garages are often pretty good, too. Okay, we got, we got options. We got options. We... Cogs asked if I've upgraded the command center yet. No, I have not. Are you telling me I should just give up on this map? I should leave? <laughs> okay, there's a shed right there. I think I got plenty of fuel. Let's go over here. The one that is more likely to have <coughs> guaranteed materials. Hello, friend. Hello. Oh. There we go. Much better. It's like, what happened to you, buddy? Oh. Oh. I am the worst. I love that all these zombies are coming after me. They're climbing the fence like, okay, I know I know she's over there. And then they get over there like, what was I doing here? It's like me going upstairs to the kitchen. <laughs> we're all clear. Hopefully we're starting a trend. Oh, yeah, Cox is reminding me to claim outposts. Yeah, I just haven't, I haven't decided what outposts I'm interested in right now yet. I mean, obviously... So I, yeah, so I think I don't need the power station because I think I've got the builder boon. So why, why am I doing that? I can do this. Anyway. So figuring out exactly what I want strategically, I don't know. I could just go for like a, one of the classics, like food. I also want to make sure I can recruit somebody whenever I uh, get the opportunity, which means I don't want to necessarily just drop all my influence at once. No, fine. Hello. Hey, Jimena. Would you like some materials? There you go. Next time. Hey there, stranger. Come on. <gasps> they're allied! Yay! I made progress on my bounty. And now that they're allied... Well, we could trade with them, see what they've got. Yeah. Okay. Gardening toolkit. Some guns. Oh, no! Sanchez's stash. I don't really have a garden, so maybe not. I'm not carrying any luxuries. No, I'm not. But let's see if there's anybody here we want to... 
Ooh, she is a, a skilled gardener. Maybe we do buy the gardening kit from her and then recruit the gardener. What about you? Musician? Eh. Mechanic. Oh, now I gotta decide between a gardener and a mechanic. Uh, uh, no, don't make me choose. Okay, hold on. Let's grab the gardening. Oh, wait, no, I don't need space. Let's sell our useless crap. Let's buy the gardening tools. And then let's recruit our gardener. And we've completed the button. Hey, wait, wait, a minute, a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Stay with me. Stay with me. All your friends are going to pile out, but that's fine. You stay with me. Let's head home. Now, we don't have a garden yet. How are we doing on um, influence? 935. I don't remember how much it costs to grab the bridge fort. Because now that we've got more people and we've got a gardener, feels like we should go someplace that's got a little bit more space. It lists the price, doesn't it? 500 influence. Okay, yeah. Hey, everybody? Uh, nice as it's been here. Let's go, let's go claim a new base. Oh, wait. Oh, Cogs was suggesting the corner office. I was talking about how much I like the corner office earlier. Oh, but that takes a thousand. You know what? You know what? You're right. I always do the bridge fort. Let's do the corner office this time, which means let's do something else. Let's go swap out Becky the Bunny Lord, play somebody else for a bit until we get just a little more influence. Let's see here. So let's drop this stuff off. <laughs> drop that off. Drop that off. Drop that off. This, this, that. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Hey, Jimena, what, what did I play as you? And then you can go back in there, boss. I got this with my what's this? Like? Mower blade sword. Oh, I love mower blade swords. Okay, let's get her all equipped. Does she already have any specialties? Nope. Oh, she's pretty low on the uh, skills, so. Hmm. Uh, she's already got a mower blade sword. She doesn't need anything there. So, okay, so we are going to need to go and refresh our bounties. And I know there was one for a shotgun. So why don't we give her a shotgun? There might have even been a couple for a shotgun. Let's grab her a shotgun and some heals. That's enough for now. Doesn't have a lot of backpack room. Look at the length of that shotgun and the tiny little backpack it's hanging from. <laughs> That's absurd. Cogs, yeah, I think there, I think there was, there was one bounty that was ferals with shotguns, but I think there was also one that was a uh, bloater with a shotgun. Actually, let's see. Do we have any fire? I would like to take out that infestation. Fire is a very convenient way to do it. Okay, I don't have any yet, but can I make some? Ooh, I can upgrade my workshop. I can make fuel bombs. That is better fire. I don't have any injuries yet, so yeah, that seems worthwhile. Um, right, the only mod I've got is for a garden, which I don't have yet. All right. We'll get that started. So I don't have any fire. That's okay. I got a shotgun. Shotguns are also good. Dougie Fresh asks if this is a uh, 
A new community. Yeah, it's this is my second session with this community. They are called the Reborn. And they are going to be led, once I've leveled her up to be a leader, uh, by Becky the Bunny Lord. So... This is going to be my Warlord community. This is going to be my last legacy boon I need to earn um, on the Dread Zone. And then I'm going to be basically morally obligated to go to the Nightmare Zone, which is going to be harrowing. Because I am not a good enough player of my own game. Nope. Hi. That's how you clear an infestation. Looks like we got a horde out here too. Who wants to join the fun? You ready? Um. Okay, you're all looking kind of weird. Bleeding through that door like you are. Come on. Do I have to open this for you? Get in here. I only knocked that guy down. Okay, went through a lot of shells, but uh, totally worth it. Partly, because she's gaining some shooting skill. What? Oh, hi. Okay, anyway. There's some very delicate stuff going on in the background, some math, to try to make it so that, you know, firing this gun doesn't just bring infinite zombies. Like, each little area of the map has sort of got a limit to how many zombies it can spawn. And so, you know, and that limit kind of goes up as your difficulty level goes up. But if you, if you hold your ground and you keep shooting at the zombies, eventually zombies won't be able to spawn uh, in the immediate area, and you'll be able to have a little bit of a break. Because without that, we really could have just, you know, if we just kept spawning, spawning zombies consistently, you would just get into an endless cycle of fighting zombies and attracting zombies, fighting zombies and attracting zombies. Okay, well, we're looking for some influence. I mean, one of the greatest sources of influence... Taking a shotgun to a plague heart, right? Wait, what? Oops. Let's just get out of here. Gather these zombies up in a nice little crowd. I love it when they get stuck to a door. We'll just do this until we're out of shells. <laughs> uh, no. Whoa. Okay. Recover. Meredith. I was trying to think of Nigel's last name yesterday, and I could not come up with it. I love how you kind of get a, a sixth sense about when zombies are about to attack you. You just kind of hear them coming. I guess that's a, that's a fifth sense. Okay, we've made progress in this play cart. They actually remember the damage you've done to them, so I might... I might be smart to get out of here. 
because this is more zombies than Jimena is equipped for. Hey, everybody. Nope. All right, we survived. Um, let's head back home. Actually, wait, is there a, oh, hello. Nope, nope, not interested. Not interested in what you're selling. While we're out here, grab some of this garbage back. Oh, a bunch of is, huh? Really making use of those shotgun shells. No thanks. So, uh, Dougie Fresh asks, have plague hearts changed since uh, the game was first released? Uh, he says that uh, some friends have telling have been saying that they heal. Others have been saying that. Uh, they get harder as you go. So as I understand it, they do get harder as you go. And I don't... Dang it. So I've, I've had... We had different discussions in when we were doing pre-production about exactly how that was going to work. And now I'm having trouble being confident that I actually remember the correct answer. I believe that the early ones you fight have less health and the later ones you fight have more health. But I don't remember if that actually is based on the number you've killed or if that's based on just how developed your community is, how much, how much uh, experience you've accumulated. And that if you just wait a long time to fight any Plague Hearts, they'll all be hard. Um, they do definitely get tougher over time. Um, I just don't remember the me mechanism. Sorry about that. That's one of the hard parts about, you know, being involved with the game throughout development, is that you remember not just the final decisions, but also all the interim discussions. And it's really easy to sort of lose track of what you actually did when something isn't obvious on the surface. Food dehydrator. Really have to carry all this crap. Medicine textbook. Grab that. I don't think... Do we have a doctor yet? I don't think we do. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I'm not trying to do that. Uh, gardener. Oh, yeah. Becky the Bunny Lord. Oh, yeah. And Essie. Essie can also be one. Bunny Lord here needs to, uh... Hmm. 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 And... Ooh, close combat, huh? Uh... Let's go with Endurance. Close combat is tempting, but... I think if she's going to go into battle with some uh, hostile humans at some point, which leaders sometimes are wont to do, I'm going to want her to um, <laughs> have a little bit more survivability. Let's drop this guy off and this guy. Go in for a few more things. Oh, but yeah, answering the question of whether they heal, though, no, we have never made them heal, as far as I can tell. The, the play cards do not heal. And uh, Ranathcord is reporting that actually that, that he thinks that they actually do not level up their their um, their health over time. I mean, again, I would not be surprised if I'm wrong about this. The problem is, you know, one thing that we're kind of learning from having made State of Decay is, is the fact that, while, you know, keeping a few things mysterious, you know, like, uh, you know, how much health does a play card have can be useful... It's a lot of the time, you know, it's 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 much better to sort of let players really see clearly and understand how mechanics are working uh, so that they can make, you know, they, so they can, you know, at first, you know, when there's just too much to absorb, it can be mysterious, but they actually do want to know deep down, you know, how, like, how everything works. 
and if you can, you know, build mechanics in such a way that they're self-explanatory, then they're, you don't have to have all of these sort of mysteries and questions, and, and I don't have to try to remember how everything works if the game just, you know, tells everyone by itself without, without you know, needing to sort of share tribal knowledge about it. Okay, so let's fuel this car up. Okay, we've actually got a thousand influence now. So we could go and claim the corner office. And I'm kind of inclined to do that. Let's uh, still gear up here. <laughs> Cog says, please don't uh, add damage numbers that float, uh, that it hurts immersion. Well, we, we, we could... we. In most cases, there would be no point. There are no damage numbers um, for, for most enemies. Juggernauts and, and play carts have health. I think ferals might have something health-like going on, um, especially the blood ferals. But um, by and large, zombies do not have health. So, which, you know, makes sense. They, 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 are, not, they are actually not healthy. Um, let's head back over to the heart. But, uh, yeah, so, so there, there wouldn't be damage numbers to show, even if we wanted to. Delicious, warm, sticky air. Okay, let's uh, use a bandage. I hate this step. I forgot to bug it last time. Oh, my gosh. I'm definitely writing a bug. <laughs> Here we go. I really thought that the dread zone. No, 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 don't hit it. You idiot. I let go of the aim button just a little bit too soon. Hello, friends. Oh, get off me. Nope. Nope. Dang. Oh, I was a little bit late that time. This is where one of those fuel bombs would be good. Okay, everybody line up at the door. She's leveling up her shooting skill today. She's also going to get sick, though, so... You should be very careful with that. Hi. Not going to try to go in the front. All right. Hopefully everybody takes a second to catch up with me. There we go. That's what we like there. Yes. This and this and that and that and some of this and one of these and that. Yes. Oh, oh, sorry. Did you... Were you late to the party? <laughs> Where'd everybody go? Oh. Okay, well, if we didn't have enough influence then, we've got it now. So we're going to head up to the corner office, and we're going to end this session with a new base. <laughs> Texas Digital Gaming says uh, that they missed the, the, the mechanic in State of Decay 1, where we would simulate that time had passed between sessions. We'd look at your console's clock, basically, and uh, we'd say, oh, it's been three days since you played? Okay, we're gonna simulate, we're gonna pretend that three days passed in the game world, and we would 
consume resources and people would starve to death. Um, I realized there were some players who liked that and there were some players who did not. Who were like, I don't have time in my life for this nonsense to worry to be worrying about this. Take this away. So we ended up going with those players uh, with State of Decay 2. But I'm glad that you appreciated that feature. It was that was certainly an unusual feature to do in a console game. You don't see, you see that in mobile games. You do not see that in console games. The bridge fort is easy to clear. Oh weird! I thought it needed a thousand. Oh wait, wait! What am I talking about? Why did I go to the bridge fort? I just have this habit of going to the bridge fort. That's not where I'm going. I'm going to the corner office. What the heck? It's up there. Bye. <laughs> Habitual Bell asks, how do I find out about being a beta tester for you guys? Uh, you just hold on a little bit. Uh, there might be some opportunities in the future. That's all I'll say. Warbucks referred to State of Decay 1, and it's sort of like, um, it's, it's, star it's starvation while you're away mechanic as, uh, a, a Tamagotchi of, oh, Tom, wait, Tamagotchi? Tamagotchi of Doom. Is that what they're called? My kids are even into them, and I've completely forgotten what consonant goes in the middle of that word. Whatever. Because they also like, ta it's Tamagotchi, because my kids also play Tamagotchi Life. That's right. That's why it's confusing. <laughs> Because I do not speak Japanese. What am I doing? I don't live here yet. Hi. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have my usual method of clearing a space, which is to turn on the cheat menu and hit um, clear all zombies or destroy all zombies. That's what I usually do when I'm claiming a base uh, when I'm testing the game. Nice. Catch my breath. Having to actually kill the zombies myself just feels like, ugh. I don't have five people yet. What the crap am I doing? Ah, oh, I'm so frustrated. I was not reading all of the requirements. Welp. Bridge Fort, you're looking pretty good right now. I still want to have a farm, and so I'm claiming the bridge for it. And we'll come up here, and we'll deal with this place later after I got some more people. Cog says I should use a radio command to get more people. Yeah, well, the problem is that that won't work short term, right? Because uh, when they first arrive, they're gonna co it's gonna cost as much to recruit somebody as it costs to claim that base. So, no matter what, recruiting somebody is gonna be a, a long term investment. So. I'm just gonna head down, claim this base for now. Hello, buddy. We, um, we're still gonna, we're gonna aim for the corner office eventually. For right now, though, I'd like to settle at the bridge fort, get a nice, more central location over here, and then uh, we can move to the center to the corner office once we've got enough folks. So, legit sod mods uh, <laughs> says the dev menu is fun. Why don't you use it? Well, for one thing, I play the game on the Xbox, and uh, you know, so I don't. But yeah, I don't usually install mods on my own game. Uh, I usually, uh, you know, play. I like I like to play it for real. So the way that the way that most players play it, it's probably going to be a more useful thing for me to be having that experience. Warbuck says, I, I love how people can play this game totally different from, from, from somebody else. Yeah, I agree. I th I, that's, that's something I like about it, too. All right. Let's get a farm going. Let's get an infirmary. That's all we can do right now. We do not have enough beds. 
We should upgrade our beds. So we'll still be short one even if we upgrade those. Maybe maybe I should grab a, uh, a beds outpost. Maybe that's the outpost I want. Maybe, let's see here. Is there a good... Yeah, why don't we go take over a house up here near Lowell. Just we'll have a place to go and we'll drop off our bounty, the bounty broker. That'll be the last thing we do. While we're setting up our base. Let's drop off our stuff. Drop off, drop, 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 drop. Uh, where's my... Oh, yep, I was going the wrong way. So I always get turned around at the bridge fort. For some reason... I always assume... Oh, we've got a siege going on? For some reason I always assume that north is south and south is north when I'm at the bridge fort, and I don't know why. It's just there's something deep in my brain. Should probably pick up some more ammo. And actually, maybe I should switch characters because this one's getting a little sick <laughs> from all of the uh, random plague heart fights she keeps getting into. So let's, uh, you know what, I don't think we've played as Andrea yet. Or Andrea? What do you think? Andrea or Andrea? What is she? A probably Andrea. Andrea Joan? Andrea Joan Gray at Crady. So, okay, Andrea Joan. As soon as we're done with this siege, you're going to go get us an outpost. It's going to be great. Okay, looks like we got that taken care of. So, we could give you this little target pistol, or this Dillinger Pattern 1911, Devilette. So many options. Let's go Devilette. Something that's nice and uh, durable. And again, running out the wrong door. I cannot remember which way this bridge fort faces. It's so weird. Why can't I remember this north of of the, the 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 car bridge? Why can't I remember that? All right, so we're gonna head up to the bounty broker and then we're gonna go claim an outpost. It's gonna be great. So Cogs is saying that I need a meds income. Do I, though? Uh, I don't know. I don't use meds all that much. I think I usually pick up enough that, uh, that I'm fine. Just riding the lightning out here with no band-aids. This is not the direction to go. <laughs> what am I doing? Everything has walls. Stop having such walls. I do need to repair this car. So I'm going to come back to the uh, auto shop once I'm done hitting up Cash Beaumont over here. All right. Let's look at your bounties. So I'm ready to collect this guy. This would have been another good way to get influence. Um, all right. So I was running around with a shotgun. Now I don't have a shotgun, and I'm actually really low on shells. So got this one already. Farrell's a shotgun yet? Not, wearing, not carrying a shotgun right now. So what about... Ten cups of coffee. Sure. Uh, I'll need a kitchen for that. 
feral heavy weapons. If I'm okay, got a few that are about heavy weapons. Screamers with fire. We got a. We should just go on a heavy weapons blitz at some point. But yeah, for now. Kill one armored Zed while crouched. I can do that. I mean, I need to find an armored Zed, but I can do it. All right. Let's get ourselves a repair kit for this uh, for this vehicle. Oh, there's a bloater. If only I had a shotgun. Gee, why do I need a repair kit for this vehicle? Could it be that I just hit every zombie I see? <laughs> Hitting a zombie as it runs past you is called en passant in chess terminology. Well, not going to complain about gas. Is there no one else? There we go. I was real happy when uh, Brian started guaranteeing repair kits at auto shops. Okay, you just run that way. That's cool. I'll uh, repair my car. Doop, doop, doop. So let's go claim a house. Get some extra beds. Hello, everyone. I'm here, am I late? You're like, you're about to be late. Oh, gosh, there are lots of you. Hi. Why are there so many of you? Yeah. Well, I sure picked the right house, didn't I? Oh. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, come on. I hit dodge, you jerk. Oh, come on. I love it when the zombies get cold and they just start shivering. Oh! This is fine. This is fine. We're good. Fine. Everything's still fine. Yeah. <laughs> she tried to surprise me. doing a little better anyway. Whew. All right, so claiming this house. <laughs> That's what I'm here to do. I thought I was done with this session. I just keep making it longer and longer. All right, uh, search every room, make sure that I, you know, didn't 
Leave any straggly zombies. What's in here? Why am I fast searching? That's not smart. Oh, let's um, reload our last bullet into our revolver. Make some room in our pockets for 25 spare parts. And we'll claim the rest of, we'll claim this outpost. Dump some of our stuff and keep scavenging. All right. Got this. What else we got? We got that. And one of these and one of those. And maybe this. Bunch of blades in this. Who are these people? Is this Robert Evans's house? Okay. Drop all this stuff off. <laughs> no one my says I always fast search because I like to live on the edge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so we've got a comment from uh, Legit Sod Mods. It says, um, so folks are just talking about, um, you know, the, sort of the future of the State of Decay franchise. And they say, I guess we'll see. Uh, everyone keeps saying they've moved on from State of Decay 2, and State of Decay 3 is going to be out by the end of the year. Uh, but I don't think so. Uh, your instinct not to think so is right. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I, I, so this story that people have, you know, when they, when they try to say that... Um, that we're done supporting State of Decay 2 and that state and that we're all working on State of Decay 3. First off, even if we were all working on State of Decay 3, uh, it, it wouldn't be coming out at the end of the year. <laughs> We've been, this is, you know, we're, we're, we're taking on a big project here. Like, give, give us some time. Oh, wait. None of these... Do none of these count as outdoor? Ooh. I can't have a latrine. It's going to make me sad. I guess I'll build a kitchen instead. Okay, anyway. So, you know, I mean, it's just, we're still, yeah. So, uh, I think Ranath Cord pointed out that, you know, we keep, whenever we talk about State of K3, we still talk about the fact that we're in, in early pre production. We announced our intent to make this game, and we sort of, you know, we, we, we put out a trailer that's like, you know, here's what we're planning on doing. But uh, we're still we're still working on this thing. Like we're gonna be working on it for a while. Like don't get don't get your hopes up that you're suddenly gonna have State of K3 dropping out of nowhere. Uh, you know, I can't give you any details on, like, when you should expect it to be, and I'm certainly not giving you any details on what it's going to be. There's still a lot of unknowns out there, but I can just... Nobody should be banking on seeing State of Decay 3 in the immediate future. You know, like, State of Decay 2 is still where it's at, as far as uh, as far as we're concerned. Uh, we, are, we are still hard at work on State of Decay 2. My, you know, me and my entire team... <laughs> we're doing tons of stuff that we have not been able to announce yet. And that's the problem. We're actually working on bigger stuff than usual. And when we're working on bigger stuff than usual, it actually means that we're not really able to talk about it until it's closer to ready. Um, and so, like, when we're working on just little stuff, you know, we, we have new things to announce all the time. But when we're working on big stuff, we gotta we got to take our time. And so I, I guess that people, like, they're, they're, they're trying to guess, you know, what we're doing. And when we go dark for a while and we're not actually announcing a bunch of new stuff, then people assume, oh, well, then that means that they must be done with State of K2. But that is not the case. And it'll be really obvious to everyone sometime in the near future that we are not done working on State of K2. So, you know, just give us a little bit more time to get our ducks in a row before we sort of, like, give you all the details on what we're working on. But, yeah. I am on the State of Decay 2 team. We are working on State of Decay 2 stuff. And we're all planning on continuing to work on State of Decay 2 stuff for a while. So, just, you know, this is, this is our strategy. This is the way that we're approaching this game. You know, this franchise. We're not just sort of dropping one game and then moving on to the next one. We're, we're maintaining this game. I mean, so many of our, um, of our audience members get this game on Game Pass. They're, you know, they're, they're paying for a service every single month that, uh, that, that gives them access to this game. And we want to give them new stuff. We want to keep supporting the game that they're playing. And, and so this, there's you know, no reason to assume that we would just 
drop this game uh, the, the moment it becomes you know whatever convenient to work on to work on you know uh, the sequel. We've got we can work on a sequel and and support this game at the same time. That is something we're entirely capable of doing, and that is what we're doing. <laughs> so uh dark scout says my daughter likes to jump through windows in, uh, instead of doors she likes to make a grand entrance yeah i just if i can jump through a window in this game i always do that was all the way back to state of k1 that was always my preferred method of transportation so no one my is joking and saying oh i heard state of k3 is coming out next week ha 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 yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> Legit Sodmod says, uh, yeah, that's what I said, but everyone says different. Apparently, just in whatever community Legit Sodmods is a part of, everyone says different. Uh, they even had one guy block them because they said they were wrong about it coming out this year. I mean, well, I don't know what kind of tone of voice you used to say they were wrong. I mean, maybe they blocked you because, uh, you know, I don't know if you were being nice about it. But, <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, I mean, you, you're definitely on the, on the right side of history when it comes to uh, what's going what's gonna to happen with this game. Sky Blue Aqua says that they use Game Pass to play this game on their Xbox, but they also bought it on Steam for their girlfriend. Well, uh, thank you very much. People who, who play it on Game Pass and also buy it uh, are doing us a huge favor. Uh, so, I mean, I, I, I'm grateful. Okay, so let's look at our base. Let's sort of assess this before we move on to something else. Um, we've got a farm. Uh, we actually should, you know, build a use our mod in that farm. We've got a workshop and an infirmary. We don't have enough materials to upgrade them yet, but we should go out and get those. We've got a kitchen. And once we get knowledge of cooking around here, we can raise morale, which is one of the main reasons I got it. However, we are more cheerful these days. And why is that? Oh, the plague heart that we killed. That helps a lot. And also, we've got a watchtower. And so not only do Essie and Becky like the workshop, Andrea likes the watchtower. So we're doing a little better on morale than we were doing in the old base. That's good. Habitual Bells bought the game on Xbox and Steam too. I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't even know how to respond. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of buying our stuff. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you know. Oh, Cogs is pointing out my survivor can... What? What, this one? No, this one can't. Can't level up their cardio. Can somebody? Oh, this one. Here we go. Jimena, that's right. Backpacking or... Uh, oh, definitely backpacking. Definitely backpacking. And SE doesn't have anything, right? Yep. All right, so we've got ourselves a new base. Uh, we've uh, we've defeated one plague heart. We've been leveling up our characters, and uh, the reign of the bunny lord has begun. So, uh, with that, we'll wrap up this session of State of Decay. We're still going to keep streaming for a little bit, but we won't be streaming State of Decay anymore. So, uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel for more State of Decay content, uh, you can. Hit that button that will not exist for people who are watching me on Twitch right now. Uh, and the next Bunny Lord episode is going to be over here whenever I've made it. So you can click that. And those of you who are watching me live will go play a different game.